In this video, I'm gonna be comparing two Sony lenses, the 35 millimeter F1.8 and the 50 millimeter F1.8. So today I'm gonna to be comparing the two lenses that I use most often for my Sony A6000. Now both of these lenses are very similar in features and in quality. A couple areas where they differ is their field of view and then also their price. So for starters, let's talk about the 35 millimeter F1.8. Now I made a review of this lens where I called it the best portrait lens for the Sony a6000. And I got a little bit of flack for that because some people like shooting with longer lenses for portraits, like using a 50 or an 85 millimeter lens. The reason I like shooting with a 35 millimeter lens is it gives me more flexibility to shoot environmental portraits and full body shots. And the 35 millimeter lens is perfect for that. And this lens is super flexible for shooting a variety of different things. If you like street photography, if you like portraits, if you like landscape, this is a good lens to use. Also, because it has the f1.8 aperture, it's great for low light photography and it allows you to get some pretty good bokeh as well. Now, this lens is also super sharp. There are some lenses for the a6000 that are sharper, like the Sigma 30mm f1.4. And even the 50 millimeter has a slightly higher rating in terms of sharpness, but the differences in sharpness are pretty much indistinguishable. If you look at photos that I've taken with the 35 millimeter, they are super sharp and they're sharp whether you're shooting at f1.8 or f4. So with the 35 millimeter lens, you don't really have to worry about sharpness and you're gonna be able to get some great pictures with this lens. Now let's talk about the 50 millimeter f1.8. Now the 50 millimeter is great for shooting portraits. It's also great for getting great bokeh and good shots in low light. Lately, I've been trying to use this lens a little bit more to shoot portraits because I'm trying to break out of the rut of only using one lens for pretty much an entire year. And I've been pretty satisfied with the results that I've been able to get with the 50 millimeter f1.8. And probably one of the best things about the 50 millimeter is it's $200 cheaper than the 35. So if you're on a really tight budget, you wanna shoot portraits, I would recommend going with the 50 millimeter. But I just wanted to give you some of the differences that you get with this lens in terms of the field of view, because that's really gonna determine which lens you choose. Now, if you wanna shoot more environmental portraits, or do something along those lines, take street photos, you're gonna to wanna to go with the 35. It's just gonna give you more flexibility in terms of field of view and range. But if you like taking headshots and shooting with a little bit longer lens, then the 50 millimeter is great. Also, if you wanna maximize the amount of bokeh you can get, I would go with the 50 millimeter F1.8 because you're gonna get more pronounced bokeh because of the longer focal length. So without further ado, I just wanted to compare some images that I've taken with the 35 and the 50 and show you the differences in the field of view. enjoy shooting with both of these lenses. Now, if someone had put a gun to my head and said, you have to shoot with only one lens, I'd be like, why are you doing this? And then I would probably say that I would shoot with the 35 millimeter lens. It's just more flexible for me. I use it for video. I use it for portraits. I use it for a lot of different things. So I prefer shooting with the 35. Now, again, this is all personal preference. If you like shooting with a longer lens, or you already have other wide angle lenses, then I would say it's a good option to go with the 50 millimeter lens. If you're like me, you're gonna buy both of the lenses anyway and use both of them in different situations. So which lens do you prefer for Sony mirrorless cameras? The 35 millimeter F1.8 or the 50 millimeter F1.8? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, be sure to subscribe to Dan Bowen Photography for more videos on the A6000 and portrait photography tutorials. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.
Hey, before you go watch another video, I just wanted to let you know about this free guide that I put together. Now, if you're struggling to pick the right lens for your Sony a6000, I created the free Sony a6000 lens picker guide. Now, you can get this PDF download completely free when you sign up to my email newsletter. I put a link in the description where you can sign up and get this free PDF that shows you how to pick the right lens for your budget and what type of content that you shoot. So check out the link in the description box, put in your email address and you'll get that sent straight to your inbox.